Hello folks, Glitched Failure here, and I am doing a fun video today uh, in celebration of Halloween. I'm going to be doing one of those Ted riddles and using coding in order to solve it. Maybe the fates got clumsy. Maybe Poseidon had one of his angry days. However it happened, the underworld is overcrowded and Zeus has ordered Hades to let some spirits out. Hades arranges all the souls of the dead in a line before Cerberus. When one of his three heads bites down on the soul in front of it, they'll get returned to the land of the living. Anyone to the left must get out of line and stay in Hades forever, and everyone else shuffles forward, at which point Cerberus will feed again. Each of the dog's heads has an equal chance of being the one to bite each time, and no two ever bite simultaneously. Unfortunately, Hades' minions forgot to tell you what was happening, and by the time you show up, there are only 99 souls left in line. Hades looks furious, and drawing attention to yourself won't end well. But suddenly, time freezes, and Hermes steps out of the shadows. He tells you he can instantly put you into the line, and no one will realize what happened, but he'll only grant his grace to someone clever enough to take full advantage of it. Choose the best place in line and he'll give you the spot. Choose wrong and he'll leave you to rot. Which spot should you pick? Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, so you're in a line, so you're in a queue, and the... At the, the very first three spots are in consideration. If you are... Hmm. Okay, so I think I have an idea of what where this is kind of going. So let me just draw something out real quick. Okay, so here's the setup that I'm thinking. So you could consider the dog biting down on the very first position. And that's actually... So this is a good thing for that person, right? So this is actually like kind of like a green situation. And for the one and two, because the line shifts down, these are kind of like a question mark because they're, they're still being considered. So I'm going to put them as orange. So it's actually not that bad of a position. Um, so being in position one is good, but being in position one and two is actually okay too because it's kind of unknown. Being in the first position or in my index zero here, being in that first spot is two thirds of the time is bad and one third of the time is good. Um, whereas being in that second position or index one, it's like um, one third bad, one third good, and one third unknown. But in position three, you have one third good and then two thirds kind of unknown, which is potential good, right? So I'm I'm seeing that being in the third position seems like it's okay. It seems like the best one of the three, but I'm thinking that because the line is shifting down that you know what about position four or five and the thing is i because it's so random i'm thinking that once you get past the initial three that it kind of it, it, it you have like diminishing returns because it's more it's going to be more and more random because everything is dependent on the very very first bite that that happens so i'm thinking that position three just off the bat is the best but i am not convinced just thinking about it i want to use code so let's go into some code. Okay, so let's import NumPy as MP because I like to do that kind of thing. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to keep track of, so we're told 100, so this is like n equals 100. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep track of, for each position, whether they live or die, basically. So, or they, you know, they continue on to Haiti. So I'm gonna create a list that's, a hundred long that is filled with zeros for both dead and alive. Okay, so that is my list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like some Monte Carlo simulation stuff where I'm going to have n simulations. Let's put it at a uh, thousand for now. And for each simulation, I want to do what? I want to uh, I want to recreate a, a new line, a line of 100 people, basically. So um, line of people equals 
and I want to use just the range of n. So this, this is going to give me like a list that looks like this, basically, just just the index, basically. So 0 to 99 is what I'll be looking at here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simulate the byte. So wait, hold on, I need to, I need, I need to actually like digest the line. So this is like eating the line. So I'm going to, while there is a line, I need to actually eat the people. Um, I need to create a, the very first three spots, it needs to be a random number for that. So I need to get a random index. I think it's np.random.int, I think, of two. If I do that enough times, oh, I need it three. So it's zero, one, or two, basically. Okay, so I'll plot that out. And this is the um, byte position. It's gonna be one of those. Um, I, I'm trying to think of an elegant way of doing this, but I don't, <laughs> I'm not thinking of one right now. So byte position is going to be a index. Uh, so let's see, if byte position equals zero, then all you have to do is pop off the first person and that's the line of people dot pop, pop to zero. And that first person is going to be the index for that person because that, that's the index on the list. And so it will be something I go into my alive and say alive, first person, I should say index really. First person index, I'm going to add one to that because that, that person is alive during this one simulation. Um, okay, so if, if byte position equals one, then the first person is actually going to be dead because you know they're you're biting the second position. So the first person, I'm going to update my dead um, dead array, and then the second person, I I just need to do again a line pop because they because you're popping it off, so it's going to be the next person line, and I'm going to add that to my um, alive list, and so I'm going to be the second person I. And I think I could just do the whole, the same logic again for, it's not very elegant. <laughs> this should be like elif probably. Okay, so let's see. When, while there is still a line of available, the dog will bite a random position. Um, if it's position zero, then the first person is popped off. They are alive, good for them. Uh, if it's position one, then you pop off the first position, they go dead. And the second position, you pop off again, they're alive. And then the last one is if you pick the second one, the first two are dead and the third person is alive. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. Um, I'm popping from an empty list. Okay, yeah, so this is gonna happen if you get to the end of the list and you're, you're trying to bite something that's not there basically, right? So what I wanna do here is I wanna do like a try. This is not the best logic, but it's gonna work, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna do it, try accept and I'll just pass um, if there's an error like this, then it means I'm at the end of the list, and I could just um, basically I'll just keep passing until I randomly select the last person, the last people that are available. Um, so that is what I'll do here. Okay, so that seemed like it worked, and let's check out our dead and alive columns or um, thing here. Okay, wow, look at that. Okay, so let's see if this makes sense here. So dead or alive. So this is this position. So this is position zero. The person at position zero died out of a thousand simulations. They died 673 times. And alive, it was 300 times. And the third position was pretty high. It was at 594. But there's a whole bunch of other numbers here. So it's possible that maybe there's another number that I'm not thinking of. Uh, so let's import Seaborn. Okay, there we go. What? 60%? That can't be that. Okay, well, anyway, so the next step is, so this third position does look good. I'm pretty confident about the third position now. But again, let's do some more simulations just to be sure. So let's do a million. A million simulations. Okay, so my computer is dying. So I'm going to reduce the number to 10,000 just to be a little bit more mindful of my computer. Okay, that, that happened a lot quicker. But you can see it's very clear that that 
position, and it's kind of hard to see which one it is, but I think it's the third one, is the highest by a significant margin. Anything after that is much more random, and it kind of teeters at around 50%. Um, so one thing I can do is go with um, MP array. So NumPy has a nice thing called argmax, which finds the max argument um, within the list, and it gives you the index. And so we we're saying that index two or position three is the one. So I'm pretty confident using Monte Carlo simulation and my own logic that third position is the one to pick. So let's see what happens in the video. It's possible to calculate the exact probability of going free in all 100 spots, but there's a much simpler path to the solution that requires surprisingly little calculation. Imagine being anywhere in line. Way up at the front, one of the three heads will pick someone at random and you'll move forward one, two, or three spaces. Since each is equally likely, your chance of survival from wherever you started is the average of the chances from each of the three spaces in front of you. And this is where you can find a huge shortcut. Averages must be on or between the extremes of what you're averaging. They can never be higher than the highest value or lower than the lowest. So whatever your chances of survival are where you start, one of the three places in front of you is at least as good and probably better. This observation is incredibly powerful. It means that wherever you are in line, it'd be wise to trade your place for one of the three spots in front of you. Let's ignore which for now and think of them as a trio. This trio's maximum value is better than this trio's and so on. Keep going and you'll reach the front. These three spots must contain the extreme values, the best and worst probabilities for the entire line. In other words, they're all we need to consider. Place one is bad. Head one would save you and the other two doom you forever. That's just a one in three chance to escape. Place two is better. Head two is great. Head three is bad. And head one is okay in that it gives you another chance. But place three is best because head three saves you while heads one and two both give you extra chances. If you did want to consider the exact probabilities, the odds of surviving in place three are 16 out of 27, or close to 60%. The spots later in line tend to be very close to having a 50% chance of survival. Why 50%? because every time Cerberus sends one soul up to be reborn, he leaves zero, one, or two souls in the underworld. That averages out to one person staying for each one who gets freed. But you can beat those odds handily with what you now know. Hermes has places to be, and so do you. He rewards your insight by sneaking you into the third spot, and from there, it'll be just a short wait to learn your ultimate fate. All right, so not too bad. Uh, I think the logic I had initially wasn't exactly the same as what they suggested, but I mean, it's still fine. Gives us the same answer. Uh, I do like that the numbers that we had worked out actually fit exactly what they were talking about with like 50% versus like the 60%. Um, so that was pretty fun. So that's it for today, folks. Uh, if this is the kind of content you like, please make sure to like, subscribe, and do all the good things. And I will see you next time. Take care.